And we're back. Tengu says, like a good neighbor, State Farm has hair. Wait a second. Rude. Are we going to that village? They might have Dongo. Another time, Suyu. Our path takes us in a different direction. We do well to give Isari a wide berth, for everyone's sake. Though I only knew you'd see you by reputation, this woman would scarce seem more different. Let us make haste to the city. Lord Hien must know of this. Here is where we part ways, my friend. I pray the remainder of your journey remain passes uneventfully. Miro, when you are not otherwise occupied, I would speak with you about my next business venture. They promised it to be extremely lucrative, and I do not say that so lightly. After the prodigious sum I've spent acquiring a certain sword, it would present a fine opportunity to refill the Scion's coffers and restore the smile to Mistress Tataru's face. Oh, come along. Tataru was overreacting. How much could a single katana possibly cost? Far more than you think, plainly. A blade like Osetsu's is worth a fortune, enough to buy a house and furnish it. Which you would know had you bothered to check the price. What? I had no idea. This business venture, Sorbens, will you you will give it a fair hearing, I trust? He has been good to us, after all. As for me, I, I think I shall look into drawing upon my personal funds. An auspicious encounter. Ah, yes, this is a quest that I do want to do for you guys, eventually. Um, not now. Elation and trepidation. We have met with Lord Hien as soon as possible, though mayhap not at the, uh, at the Enclave. I will send word requesting that he receive us at the House of the Fierce. There, where, where there are fewer prying eyes. If all is in our agreement, I shall scout ahead and see that the way is clear. Pray, follow us as swiftly as you are able, and join me on the outskirts of Namai. And off they go. Okay. Speak with Yugiri near, near Namai. Oh, she's not even near Namai. She's way the fuck over there. Engage. Are you like State Farm? Do you have hair? All is well? Good. The others are hiding nearby. Let us proceed quietly, if you please. What if you did and you didn't know it? What if your hair was invisible? My lord here, I am returned. Save your tears for the morrow. For we who yet walk the path should not think too much on the destination. When the hour arrives, we shall welcome what comes with open arms. And welcome it you did, even as the keep fell down around us. At that moment, in your smile, I spied a shred of hope. One which I have clung to ever since. Gosetsu! Full glad am I to see you alive and well. We have played this scene before, have we not? Though this time our roles are reversed. That they are. Meaning you know how I feel. Wholly at a loss for words. Welcome back, old friend. Now then. Though we rejoice at your return, it seems you have brought with you certain complications. Rise, my friend. 
Tell me everything. The Empire is bold indeed to send a token force to engage the Confederacy. As acting Viceroy, Yotsuyu would have been privy to Imperial secrets. The Garleans will not soon give up the chase. Nay, it will end with her capture, or her death. Are you a friend too? She claims to have lost her memory, though I know not if she speaks true. I brought her here, that you might decide her fate. Lost her memory, you say? Regardless, the people have not forgotten. Her face yet haunts their dreams. She cannot roam free. We will hold her here for a time. Place her in Jufia's care, with the express instruction that she is not to be seen. Yes, my lord. Come. No, I don't want to. Don't let her take me away! It's all right, Soyu. I will come with you. Be a good girl and listen to Yugiri. From a hound at his throat to a puppy at his heel. If this is an act, it is a remarkable performance. Thank you for delivering Gosetsu back to us in one piece. We are truly lucky indeed to have friends who would journey to the other side of the world to help us, and repeatedly at that. We have much and more to think upon, but as regards the Empire, we can but watch and wait. Now then, seeing as you've come all this way, you must allow me to show you around the Enclave. I would not have you thinking we would have been idle in your absence. The rebuilding effort proceeds apace, I'm pleased to say, and we are now ready to welcome home our countrymen who were displaced by the war. Should they desire it, there is a place here for those who fled to Eorzea. We should be delighted to accept your invitation, Lutheran, and I have no doubt your subjects at Remnant Soul will be heartened to hear ah, that their lord has not forgotten them. Hmm? Oh, it's nothing. I just thought that Gosetsu and Yugiri would be back by now. Forgive me, my lord, but Captain Ifuya is nowhere to be found. Oh? He was here when I arrived. For now, we have taken Yotsu to a private chamber and assigned another to watch over her, my lord. But I find it passing strange that the captain should leave his post with nary a word. That does seem most unusual. If you mean to look for the man, we would be happy to assist you. We should be glad for the help. While I search without, mayhap you could ask our soldiers to hear if they know anything? I will join you. With respect, my lord, you should remain here. The Empire move against us, and you will be able to better coordinate our response. Ha! Huh. And here I was thinking I was in charge. But you have the right of it. Go on, then. I will mind the house. The tone of the story definitely shifts a lot when I... Uh, during this part, because Yotsuyu is not the threat that she uh, was at the uh, start. Or it doesn't appear to be anyway. You see the captain? He passed by a little while ago. I, uh, I wonder if I should tell someone. As it happens, he did not look well, you see. I asked if uh, aught was the matter, and he told me 
the past has caught up with him. But I doubt it was that. There are older men in our ranks. There's Subaru. Kairate. Captain Ipinu? He was headed for the northern engines when I saw him last. I was going to invite him to train with us, but he did not hear me when I, when I called out to him. If you need him, I dare say the sentry on duty will be able to tell you more. Indeed, I suggested as much to Mrs. Alsay when she came asking earlier. Is something amiss? Again, I didn't talk to the Falcon Porter. Oops. Not that it matters. No one ever uses these. I say no one ever uses these, but you know, some people do. It's fair. It's rare, and a few people do, but. I see the trail led you here as well. This man says he saw Ifuya leave. Hi, the captain went outside some bells ago. I'm looking quite unwell. I'm sorry to say this, but this I mentioned to Lord Gosetsu, who straight away struck out after him. I hope they'll be all right. Gosetsu too. It seems everyone is bent on joining the search. That is all well and good, but someone has to stay behind. And there's no telling when, what the Empire is plotting. You go on, Miro. Alpino and I shall hold the fort. Exactly what is this man doing, and why should we be concerned? Chocobo butt. I have a feeling this man is meeting with Ten Gauge. Or Vector, one of the two. They are the infamous streamer twins, after all. Hey, look, this is the uh, Matanga. These guys are usually on the Azim steps, so I didn't actually see any of them here. Why is he naked? Walking around in the nude. We are not twins. Hey, Vector, uh, your name was gray there for a second. Yep, Vector and Tengage are known as the famous streamer twins, which is bizarre because they're not twins. But it helps with the image. Ah, uh, by the Kami! Your Lord, he and... Leave me! Leave me, I beg of you! Say nothing of this! I, I, I was never here! There you are. Lady Yugiri! Lord Gosetsu! Forgive me, uh, my abrupt disappearance. You have your reasons, I am sure. Will you not share them? I was... I was her master, when she was yet a courtesan. By the Kami. She worked in my establishment. Her father was a regular client of mine. One day, quite without preamble, he offered to sell her to me. Yeah, she may be no maiden, he said, but she has some use left in her. He sold her short. When I first beheld her, I was struck by her beauty. And yet, behind her eyes there was an emptiness. It was as if she had given up on life. She seemed more a doll than a woman. It was no profession for her, but I knew she would be popular. And so it proved. Men flocked to drown themselves in that cold, bottomless gaze. The rest you know. She became an Imperial informant and for her loyal service won the office of acting Viceroy. While you came to serve the Liberation Front. It is said that the atrocities Yotsuyu committed were driven by vengeance. If so, I bear part of the blame for creating the monster she became. Joining the front was meant to be my atonement. But the truth is... The truth is, I am a coward, whose only thought was to escape her wrath. Then as now. I see. Then I shall recommend that you be assigned to a new post. 
I trust you have no objections, you giddy? None. It would not do to leave Yotsuyu in his care. I am in your debt. Who is it that you seek to protect, Gozetsu? Idle musings. Pray, pay me no mind. darker than our usual Final Fantasy fair. Forgive me, now is not the time to be brooding. Come, let's rejoin the others. I'm not gonna walk into there. Fuck that, I'm just gonna teleport. Sex trafficking is not usually a, uh, a topic that we, uh, we have in uh, Final Fantasy. But alas, that man is uh, guilty of doing that with Usatyo too. Not, I wouldn't say sex trafficking per se, but he was in charge of a, uh, I guess a, a, a legal bordello as, it was like right in the main street as they showed. So, well, not, maybe not main street, but it was like right out in the open. If Fuya can't be the only one here with a mortal fear of Yotsuya, she tormented these people. Lord he and Master Alpha all look troubled. Something is afoot. Everyone is here. Good. There have been developments that demand our immediate attention. That her mere presence should sow such strife. I thank you for your help in the search. Gosetsu has told me all that transpired. I would not presume to defend the life of Hifuya Led before he joined the front. Nor will I condemn it. Frankly, it is not my place to judge. I will only say this. That if Hifuya knows... And I know, uh, the Ifuya I know has ever been a man of courage. That he should feel driven to flee bespeaks the depths of his terror. Even now, Yotsuyu casts a shadow over the realm. But the question of what to be done with her must wait. The Empire is on the move once more. Alright, we can win a Zo steak, a uh, takoyaki, mmm, takoyaki, and tofu pancakes. The tofu pancakes, takoyaki is probably the best for us. Storm on the horizon. While you were out searching for Ifuya, we received word from our shinobi allies. The Imperial airship has been sighted over Dolmen soil. Our visitors' objectives remain unclear. It may be another attempt to recover Yotsuyu, or a prelude to invasion. Either way, the craft, report, craft reportedly advanced at speed and appears bound for Kashim Fluminus. I mean to go there and ascertain that's their intent. If we ride out in force, I will only it will only end one way. So we shall keep our numbers to a minimum. Yugiro, Yugiri, minimum Mira, can I count on you? Yes, my lord. Alice and I would play fame play our part as well. We will not stand idly by while a common foe threatens the lands of our friends and allies. We would be glad of the help. You are acquainted with Hakuro, I believe? Then I bid you seek him out and assist in maintaining order in the Enclave. When the people see an Imperial airship, they are liable to panic. I would have you reassure them, and should it come to it, aid in the evacuation. Very well. We shall depart at once. Do take care. What of me, my lord? The Empire will be after Yotsu. You are to remain here and guard her until my return. As you wish. Pray stay close to Miro and Yugiri. Very well. Guard dirty and not a breath of protest. Now I have seen it all. To cash and flu uh, to cash and fluminous, then. Let us find out what the Empire's game is. So if you guys recall, we kicked the Empire out of Doma, um, and yet they're here again. Now, are they just packing up the remainder of their stuff and leaving, or are they, uh, are they not? What are they up to? Castro Fluminus is down here, so let's teleport to Namai.
Oh, 10 gauge. Thank you for giving those codes out to people. Only one of them really got used uh, that I could tell because nobody really cares about eighth rate tickets or I guess these leveling items because it's honestly not super great, but the mount, everybody cares about mounts. I would show you the mount, but I have it on another character. Uh, they only give it, let you have it on one character. What does it sound I'm hearing? Nah. Here we go. Hey there, Hien. Hey there, Yugi. Doma is ill-equipped to deal with an aerial offensive. Should the Empire be so minded, the Zalos flying mounts will be our only hope. The area is secure. Whatever our visitors' purpose, they plainly believe they can achieve it alone. The craft should come into view at any moment. Let us await them inside the castrum. Happy Chocobo, welcome. A smoke signal? Thoughts, you giddy? In former times, such signals were used to announce the coming of an emissary of peace. In Doma, at least. But could that truly be their intent? Who can say? Whatever they want, we cannot simply blast them out of the sky. Not when they were so gracious as to honor one of our cherished traditions. I would not have it said that we Dormans want for propriety. Then I shall go and reconnoiter. Nay, that won't be necessary. We will meet them openly. I would welcome this student of Dorman history in person, whomsoever he or she may be. As you wish, my lord. I shall arrange for a signal of our own to be fired in answer. should be received by the Lord of Dorma himself. I but afford an emissary of peace, the courtesy he is due. Welcome to Dorma, my lord. Ah, where are my manners? I am Asahi Sas Brutus, ambassador plenipotentiary of Garlemont. He is heir to the Nai-Uri clan, and Yotsu's stepbrother. It seems I need not introduce myself, not in the presence of the famed Yugiri Mistwalker. Your skills as a shinobi are known far and wide, my lady. It is true, the former acting viceroy is my sister, yet Bonds of kinship aside, we have precious little in common. As will soon become plain, I come not to sow strife, but to end it. I am of the Populares, a collective which represents the interests of the common man. 
Long have we labored to bring about reform to the Empire's provincial policy. Happily for us, our master acknowledges the need for change. Indeed, his radiance, Emperor Varis Zos Galvus, personally sanctioned this mission, granting me the authority to speak with his voice. To negotiate peace with Dorma. Well then, we have much to discuss. Will you accompany me to my hall? Gladly, my lord. When I said we'd meet, eventually meet Vector's favorite character, this is him. This is the character that is going to be Vector's favorite character. Peace, after all they've done. Never has the word rung more hollow. Hey, Maxima. Lord Hian is a magnan magnanimous in victory. Given our nation's troubled history, we did not expect such hospitality. Yeah, Asahi here is... Um... Part of a group of people that uh, vie for peace within the Empire. Okay, Ten Gage. I say, I do stand in the presence of the... Uh, do I stand in the presence of the fabled Icon Slayer? What an honor. So it's rare for the Empire to have somebody who vies for peace when they are uh, very much uh, a warmongering uh, group of people. We shall escort our guests across the river to the Enclave. Yugiri, pray go on ahead to the Yuzuka Manor docks and see that the ferries are ready. Oh, right. Uh, that reminds me, guys. Um, so we're going to turn on mount music here for a sec. Uh, because this is the collector's edition mount, and here's the music that plays when you ride it. Fans of Final Fantasy IX might recognize this. They also might recognize the mount as being Ark or Cruise Chaser, if you prefer. Cruise Chaser Blasty. I love FF9's battle theme. So not every mount has like special music per se, but there are some that do, as you can tell. He's still listening. He's here. Excellent. I have read much about the architecture and geology of Doma. Words do not do it justice. Such scenes of devastation greeted us on our journey here. Bitter wages of war. Upon disembarking, we will proceed directly to my hall, where we may enjoy some privacy. Lord Hian and I will accompany the Imperial Delegation on the first ferry. When you're ready, speak with the boatman and join us on the other side. In case you didn't catch it, uh, Atsuhi is the stepbrother of Yatsuyu. So we kind of had an in, uh, introduction to him in one of the memories of her past. Uh, in that her mother really, really loved him, uh, and really doted on him. All are free to travel in and out of the Enclave. Do you seek passage?
Okay. I guess I didn't need to do that, but... I'm not attuned to it. Oh, right, we couldn't attune to these back... Uh, okay, that makes sense. Hang on, we're gonna attune to these real quick. Not that I'm ever gonna come back here again, but... I really like this area because the music itself is a big reference to Final Fantasy VI, given, you know, Doma Castle itself is an area in Final Fantasy VI. running around the Domino Enclave here, uh, listening to the music, and, uh, gathering some, uh, attunements. Once we attune to the main age, right, we're going to take a quick break, uh, just because we've reached the 30-minute mark, and it's a good time for it. We just met Vector's favorite character. What, six? What do you mean, six? On my spell bar? That's fire, too. Oh, FF6. Alright, guys. Give me a moment. We'll be right back, and then we'll kick off uh, the remainder of this plot.